everyone, I'm Cheryl and you're watching our Super Mom Expert series. In our three-part series, we are going to talk all about our kids' gut health and immunity. And you know, we've got lots of mummies asking us, um, what about my kids' gut health and, and um, what about probiotics? So today, we have our Super Mom Expert, Pediatrician of Kids Clinic at Pongo, Dr. Ong. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Dave Ong. Uh, it's great to be here to be able to share with all of you about um, probiotics and I hope to be able to address all your questions. Okay, so first up Dr. Ong, what is gut health? How do we know we have good bacteria or bad bacteria and why is it so important to have good bacteria? Okay, so good bacteria essentially is known as uh, probiotics and they have got a lot of important functions including number one, they actually help uh, you to break down the food into nutrients which the body can use and secondly, they help to fight off the bad bacteria in the gut, uh, which can be harmful for us, so as to maintain a healthy digestive system. And thirdly, I think good bacteria is very important for the immunity because 70% of our immune system is actually found in the gut. Hmm. And when does good gut bacteria start forming? To answer the question, I think the first uh, instance where our kids' uh, intestines are filled with good bacteria is actually from birth. So this starts when the child gets delivered through normal vaginal delivery and also when the child starts with breastfeeding. Uh, so that's very important and it's uh, also well known that children who are not born through normal, de normal vaginal delivery and uh, does not breastfeed, they actually have lower levels of probiotics in their gut. Mm. Uh, so at what age can we start feeding the kids with probiotics is actually within the first few weeks of life. Mm. And how will I know then that my kid has a good gut microbiome? So, an imbalanced uh, gut microbiome can show up as problems within the tummy itself. So, the kid may have uh, symptoms like bloatedness. Uh, they may go to the toilet to pass motion more frequently. They may have difficulties passing motion. So, if there are any of all these signs, uh, it will be advisable to bring your child to see a pediatrician so that they can find out the cause. And how do I maintain a good gut microbiome in my kids? A balanced or good gut microbiome involves having a uh, good uh, amount of good bacteria in the gut. So that can be easily done through the diet. So first and foremost, uh, I think it would be highly advisable and recommended to give your child sufficient fruits and vegetables because that will provide your child with sufficient dietary fibre and prebiotics that can encourage the growth of these um, good bacteria. And secondly, is to have a healthy balanced diet that is uh, low in processed food, oil, excessive salt and sugar. And uh, you can also consider giving your child uh, food that is rich in probiotics such as uh, yogurt or cultured drinks. And alternatively, you can consider supplements containing probiotics as well. Thank you, Dr. Ong, for sharing so much information and thank you for watching our Probiotics 101. For more information, do check out welovesupermom.com. Once again, I'm Cheryl and you're watching the Supermom Expert Series.